And for the third year in a row, Illinois lawmakers left Springfield for the summer without approving a new budget. But they did work on another issue that may benefit CPS, and that's the school funding formula. CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli live to explain this plan. Mike, good morning. Right now, Illinois has the largest spending gap in the country between wealthy school districts and poor districts. So late last night, the Senate followed the House in voting to change that funding formula. The new formula would allocate funds based on student population and on what type of resources are available locally. The new formula is based in part on a framework hammered out by a bipartisan commission put together by Governor Bruce Rauner last year. All of the more than 800 school districts in the state would receive at least the same amount of money that they did last year. But Republicans say the new deal amounts to a bailout for CPS. Mayor Emanuel hailed the funding bill as a meaningful first step and called on the governor to sign it. Earlier in the month, he said that's simply fulfilling the state's obligation to Illinois children. You know, it's in the Constitution that the state of Illinois is supposed to be is the primary funder of education. I expect them to live up to their responsibility. The state pays about one quarter of the bill for public schools in Illinois. That's the fourth lowest percentage rate in the entire country. Consequently, local school districts tend to rely on property taxes a lot more here in Illinois than other states do. Reporting live along the lake from Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News. Roseanne, Aaron. All right, Mike, thank you very much.